Hi, I'm Unique Model, aka Shantae Renee P for Positivity, and this is a channel for love and for healing. I want you to know that love begins with you and it absolutely does. Be the love you want to see manifest in your life and it will come. So, this is a um, message about divine um, feminine. So, I have been getting this question that has been triggering the F out of me over and over. It's like, well, what do you do for work? Or what do you, you know, are you looking for work? And, you know, things of that nature. And it's just like, it would trigger me because when I first started to do my YouTube channel and I started, and you know, I had written the, the poems and things and, you know, I said I was going to do a book and, you know, I was doing my creations. Um, my own father, who, you know, I, I am a person who's had father wounds. So my own father was like, well, you can't do that. That's, you can't make a living off of that. You know, just basically telling me that I cannot do certain things. And, but this is what I am feeling passionate and called to do. So it's like, basically you're telling me I cannot live off my creativity and it's like, okay, so that has been triggering me. This happened probably about three, four years ago. And, um, when I've come into, you know, contact with, you know, different people, um, a lot of men in particular, well, what do you do and what do you bring to the table? And it's just like, I would have a hard time, but it was because of a wound that I had from, you know, my father and ex-husband this in relationships in general, uh, mainly uh, men is like, well, what do you do? And it's like, damn, um, what I do is I care for people. I, you know, build a home, you know, things of that nature. I create stuff, didn't know until recently in the past, over the past like five years that I could write poetry. I didn't know that. And I, you know, I put my stuff out to be shared. Um, so it was making me feel like it was, I was not enough or what I was doing was not enough. Like, okay, yeah, you do that, but you still need to go out. You need to go work a nine to five. You need to bring in this paycheck. And then we can talk about, you know, something, something. Then we can say what you're actually bringing to the table instead of, I'm, just, I'm bringing myself. I'm bringing my creativity. I'm bringing my nurturing. I'm bringing my caring. I'm bringing my loving. I am bringing all of these things to the table that to build a foundation and a house will be built on that because it's firm and it's stable and it's, you know, it's being cared for. So I just had to put that out there and why I ended up writing this, um, writing this message, which it took me a couple of days to get it out. I just finished it a few minutes ago and I said I was going to start doing something like a Divine Feminine Friday uh, message. Hopefully I can continue and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I was asked again, um, like Sunday or Monday is like, are you looking for work? And I'm just like, I do work. I do home stuff. I go like, I'm a home care, um, provider, but I, you know, do it privately, but I don't work that many hours, but I also do home stuff like the house that I, I stay in everybody i'm the youngest person there i'm 47 i'm the youngest person so my mom and you know other family members are in the home who actually need help and it's like okay well you're doing stuff but you're not getting paid for it you know i'm not in the physical world not monetarily but you get paid in other ways and that's another thing that we need to come out of as far as like when we look at abundance are your needs being met yes um and abundance just does just not come in the form of um, money. But that is one way that you can um, receive, you know, receive abundance is through money, but you can receive it through love and through care and support, you know, other things of that nature. But it led me to write this message. Um, and I just saw 428, that number has been coming up. So I think I'm gonna have to do an angel number um, um, posting on that. So wants to come out i wrote this message finished it this morning so I, I i was led to share so excuse me so my job is to create i am here to create whatever ideas come to me are to eventually flow through me out into the open for all to see 
It is the divine feminine's job to flourish in creativity. What is created can cause mayhem. Triggering catastrophe to rebuild is the divine feminine's will. She will nourish and nurture for hers and for your future. As she continues to grow, she starts to illuminate a beautiful glow. A glow of light for others to find. All will begin to see when it is her time. She's like a lighthouse guiding the way to safety. This is a divine feminist duty and she does it with such poise and beauty when she is in a healthy place. But when in a negative space, her wrath could become her worst mistake. The mistake is usually chaos, definitely not unnoticed. When she figures it out and heals, she becomes an imperfect, perfect lotus. Beauty surrounds her and all that she touches. That's why most divine feminines are the main topic of many discussions. After the deconstruction and the destruction comes restructuring, nurturing, caring, loving, and creating the fruit she has to bear. This is the divine feminine's role in this world. She's put under molding, shaping, and pressuring until she becomes the beautiful pearl. So that came to me. And you know, whatever way that looks like for you, do it. Um, yes, I know we live in a, a physical world, a 3D world. You do have to make money, but we are given ideas and create creations to support us. So, and I'm hearing that your gifts will make room for you. So, whatever gifts you have to offer, abilities, talents, skills, your gifts will make room for you. And no, it may not look like what society says that this should look. It should be this way. You should be living this way. You should have this in order to be successful. That's not, we are restructuring that shit right now. It breaking away from it and i'm not saying that what they consider prosperous is not prosperous because it can be it and it you know and that's what you know all of us a lot of us do desire to have but just know as long as you are in your creativity you will be okay and i believe that is it that is all i have for you for this message sending you love and healing i appreciate you make sure you appreciate yourself and remember Happiness is homemade. Feed yourself some good shit. Mind, body, and spirit. Have a wonderful day. Bye.